Hi, are you having a neck swelling? Are your thyroid hormones going up and down? Is there any weight change that is very predominant in the last couple of months? Then this video is made for you. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rachna Gandhipati. I'm a practicing ENT physician and surgeon in Gurgaon and Delhi NCR. Today we'll be talking about goiter and uh, thyroid associated symptoms. Okay, so what is goiter? Goiter is the swelling of a thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland which is located in the center of the neck enveloping our trachea. Uh, thyroid gland has many functions. The swelling of the gland is total is called, known as goiter. So when we talk about the causes of goiter, goiter predominantly was seen in olden days when iodine deficiency was very common. Nowadays we don't see goiter anymore, we see a lot of cases of thyroid swellings. Thyroid swellings can be of various uh, reasons, uh, today we'll be discussing them in short. So what is the cause of uh, thyroid swelling? Uh, there are two different uh, causes. See. Uh, there are sometimes solitary nodules that can alter uh, the production of thyroid hormone from your gland which are called hot nodules and there are sometimes multiple cystic like nodules that are formed in your uh, thyroid gland which will make it a multinodular thyroid swelling. So the symptoms of thyroid swelling can be varied. The most obvious symptom will be the swelling in front of the neck which is visible to the patient and the people around. Sometimes the patient can uh, observe uh, pressure symptoms due to the swelling. Uh, that is when the patient tries to swallow or breathe, he or she might feel an obstruction in the throat. And there are symptoms regarding or relating towards the hormone production of thyroid. Hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism present with very different symptoms and uh, to diagnose those symptoms that's where blood tests and uh, radiology comes into the picture. So when you step into a doctor's office with a thyroid swelling, uh, what you can expect from the doctor is a complete examination of the swelling of the site of the swelling, the consistency of the swelling. From there, uh, depending on the kind of history that you give the doctor, the doctor will recommend a certain panel of blood tests, few uh, radiological evaluations like an ultrasound or a thyroid scan. Sometimes a small needle might be inserted into the swelling and a few cells are drawn out to make a proper diagnosis of what we are dealing with. So the treatment for thyroid uh, swellings will depend on the type of disease uh, which has been established by your doctor. The initial management uh, will always uh, be medical preferably. If the patient uh, fails to respond to uh, medical management or we don't see improvement, that's when we suggest patient surgical management. Friends, I would like to reiterate that thyroid is a very important gland in your body. The treatment of thyroid disorders is varied and it is mostly patient centric. But if you do experience any symptoms pertaining to thyroid, any neck swellings, I would request you to go see a physician or a surgeon immediately. Uh, if you like this video, you find it informative, I would like you to share, like and subscribe it. Thank you very much.